So today I'm going to be going over time cycles for interiors and uh, different variables for them. And I guess how to use the 5M time cycle editor. Uh, the difference between my last video and this one is that um, they've moved the time cycle editor over to normal 5M and you don't need FXDK anymore. So make sure you're on the Canary branch, which is latest or unstable it's called in the like UI or whatever. But once you're on a localhost server and on the Canary branch, just type in time cycle editor space one and it'll open up. I've got it on my other monitor, but I have it overlaid on OBS, so... Uh, first thing, what you're gonna wanna do is find on the list, you wanna find one that, like, I guess you, that sort of like... Let me clear this. Let me just scroll through and then you'll find, like, uh... This one looks... Uh, where is it? I think it's the Franklin one? Or my, It's Michael's, yeah. This one looks not too bad. But, uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna... Where it says name, we're gonna like, change the name so it's different and then we're gonna click clone and we're gonna scroll to the bottom and here's some examples that I've made in the past and so I'm just gonna screenshot these variables and move them to my other monitor real quick and then if we go to the new cloned XML or time cycle we can just add and remove things as we like so if we wanted to let's say make it a little brighter in here what I would do for the variable you can do uh, light underscore natural push, I believe. Add this. Or this this makes like props and I guess entities lighter. So if you change this lower, it'll you'll see. Make this like negative 0.6. And I believe it should be maybe it's ambient down wrap, I think it might be. Yeah, it's this one. This one makes it like brighter and stuff. Let's say you wanted to brighten it up a little bit, or we can even go a little darker. Like that. A little more moody. Then for the coloring, let's say you wanted it to be like, I guess, bluish. What you would do is add artificial uh, int down color, I believe. And then you can play with these. Or it might be the other ones, I'm not sure. I believe it's these. I'm going to set this to like 1. Actually, I don't think these are doing anything, to be honest. Oh, okay. So, what I'm going to add next is the ambient down intensity. This also makes affects the lighting. These are like the big ones that I'm showing off. But just like negative 1. And then you can also add ambient up intensity. And this will make everything brighter and whatnot. And let's say you wanted to change where the fog is outside. You can go ahead and just add fog underscore start. And it'll be like further away so you can, it's more visible outside. You can also do int down intensity for the light. This will change the overall lighting. Play with this. Then you can also add int up intensity. Just like that, we have a, I guess, better looking interior. About like, what, five minutes of work? 